Hello scientific brilliant people, how are you today? So I'm going to clear today a very big misconception and this is the misconception and I have been encountering this misconception for a long time. So I decided to make a video upon this one and many a, many a times when we teach Bohorbari rule to grade 7 and 8 students, so they get confused because we know that Bohorbari rule says that maximum number of electrons accommodated in a particular orbit is given by 2n square. This is an explanation with regard to the Bohr's atomic model. So if I say that third orbit, so in third orbit, okay, let us start from n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2 and then n is equal to 3. So if I substitute n is equal to 1 over here, 1 square is 1 into 2, so it is 2. So maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in first orbit is 2. Then if I put 2 over here, 2 square is 4, 4 2 is 8. So maximum 8 electrons can be fitted in second orbit. 3 square is 9 and 9 to the 18. So that means here we have a problem. Maximum electrons that can be accommodated is 18. So we know that potassium has electronic configuration 2881 because this has got 19 electrons. So 19 electrons, first orbit 2, second orbit 8, 10 electrons we have accommodated. Now we have 9 electrons and the capacity of the third orbit is 18. Still we put only 8 and the fourth and the last electron that we put it in the fourth orbit. Now why it is that as per the rule it can accommodate 9 electrons then the electronic configuration should be 289. Now guys let's have an explanation correct, correct explanation to this one. The latest atomic theory that we are following is Schrodinger's atomic model and it says modern atomic theory says that there are no longer orbits there are suborbits which we call them orbitals so there are four type of orbitals s p d f now there can be maximum two electrons in s maximum number of electrons that can be there in p orbital orbitals means you can consider them as suborbits 6, here 10, here 14 and these are the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated. Right guys? Now, if we draw first four orbits, so this is our nucleus, then this is our first orbit, second orbit, third orbit, fourth orbit. So this is n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3 and n is equal to 4. So we have four orbits as per the Bohr's rule. Now the first orbit guys, listen to me very very carefully, the first orbit itself is made up of one suborbit and that is, this is one first orbit, second, third and fourth, this first orbit itself is made up of one suborbit and that is S. Second orbit is made up of two suborbits S, P. Third suborbit is made up of Three sub third orbit is made up of three suborbits S, P, D, and fourth suborbit is made up of four S, P, D, F. Four suborbits. There is no fifth suborbits which we call orbitals, and the n is equal to five, n is equal to six will all be made up of four four suborbits right so after n is equal to 4 that is 5 6 7 8 9 all the other orbits are made up of maximum 4 suborbits now guys the lowest energy out of all is of 1s then 2s then 2p so there is a chart of the energy that i would like to see that i would like to show you least energy is of 1s then 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p and you need not to go in much of the depth of this one. Just see here, 1s, the shell or the suborbit which is very close to the nucleus has lowest energy. So if we start filling up the electrons, suppose you have 19 electrons of potassium, then electrons will first go to the lowest orbit. Then if this gets completely filled, then the electrons will be filled over here and then if this is filled, then the electrons will be 
going over here. If this is filled, then the electrons will be going over here. And in this way, we continue. But there is an exception. We know that in terms of energy, 1s has got least energy. Then we have 2s. Then we have 2p. Then we have 3s. Then we have 3p. But now instead of 3d guys, there is an exception. 4s has got lower energy. Then 3d is going to come. So if we follow sequence wise, it is fine. But there is an exception that 3d has got larger energy than 4s. These are all experimentally verified data and you can check for yourself that first of all the electrons will go in 4s and then the electrons will be filled in 3d. This is how it is to be filled. So electrons will go in lowest energy shell, then 2s, then 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s and if these are completely filled then the electrons will go into 4d. Now guys let's start with the simple electronic configuration of chlorine. So chlorine is 17 and it has got 17 electrons. So let's write down in 1s, two electrons can be filled and make sure that you write down two at the top. So out of 17 electrons, two are now filled in chlorine. Now still we have 15 more electrons to completely fill them. So 1s2, then if you don't remember the chart, we have this as our reference, then the electrons will go in 2s, then 2p. So now after 1s is filled, the electrons will move to 2s, maximum capacity 2, so 2 will be filling up, then 2p6. Now let's count the number of electrons, 6 plus 4, 10, because in s, maximum 2 can be filled, here also in s, maximum 2 can be filled, in p, maximum 6 electrons can be filled. So 6 plus 4, 10 electrons we have already arranged, still 7 to go. So now 2p, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, now third suborbit, the third orbit has got three suborbits, 3s2, now we have 12 electrons, 3p6, now 6 plus 2, 8, and okay, now here it will be 5, 3p5, because 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 5, 17. Now guys, how to write down 2, 8, 1? See, in first orbit, in first orbit, we have 2 electrons. In second orbit, total, we have 8 electrons. In third orbit, total, we have 7 electrons. That's why the electronic configuration is 2, 8, 7. Now guys, let's try to attempt the electronic configuration of argon. Argon has electronic configuration 288 and its atomic number is 18. That means there are 18 electrons. Let us try to first of all fill all these electrons in the orbits. So first of all the electrons will be filled in 1s orbit. After 1s is completely filled the electrons will go to 2s. So 2s2. Now again after filling 2s2, 3s, 2p will be filled up. So it will be 2p6. Now after 2p is filled, the electrons will go to 3s. Now 3s is also completely filled and 6 plus 4, 10 plus 2, 12. Then the electrons will move on to p. Now in p we can accommodate maximum 6 and 6 plus 4, 10 plus 2, 12 and 6 are only remaining. So all will be filled in the p orbit. Right? Okay. So now as for this one, the electrons in the first orbit are 2, electrons in the second orbit total are 8, electrons in the third orbit are 8 and that's why the electronic configuration is 288. Now the important part, potassium and calcium people. So potassium has electronic configuration 19. So I think we can straight away write till here because 18 are already done, right? So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. 3s2, 3p6 because out of 19 electrons first 2 will be filled in s, 1s then 2s after 2s is filled then 2p6 if 2p is completely over then 3s if 3s is done then 3p now guys as per our rule the electrons will not go to 3d because electrons will be filled up as per the 
energies. So now the next higher energy is 4s, not 3d. This is very important. Electrons will now go to some that level where the energy is bigger than 3p and that is not 3d, 4s. And after filling up 4s, the electrons will jump onto 3d because energy, energy of 3d is larger than energy of 4s. So first of all, the electrons will be filled in lower energy orbit that is 4s and then after it, they will go to 3d, correct? Sorry. So now the electrons will go on in 4s. Now how many electrons are left? Only one because 18 we have arranged. So 4s, one. Now let's write down the electronic configuration. So in one we have two, in two we have eight, again in three we have eight and in the fourth orbit the electron is one. Right guys? So let's try to attempt the same for calcium as well. So calcium, the last one has electronic configuration 2882. Let's try to understand why. So calcium has got atomic number 20, which means we are supposed to arrange 20 electrons. And first of all, the electrons will go to 1s orbit. So let me fill two electrons. Now 1s is completely filled. Electrons will go into 2s. After filling it, electrons will go to 2p6. Then after 2p6, 3s2, then 3p6, now 3p is completely filled. Now the electrons will no longer go to 3d. First of all, they will go to 4s. 4s2, now as you can see, 6 for 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 6, 18, 18 plus 2, 20. Now if we go for the next electronic configuration, which will be my later part of the video, you will be seeing that electrons will go in 3d. And here as per this one, the electron in the first orbit are 2, electron in the second orbit are 8, electron in the third orbit are 8 again and in the fourth orbit we have 2. So that is why the electronic configuration is 2882. In the next part of the video, I am going to write the electronic configuration of next 10 elements. So it will be from 20 to 30. Thank you for watching the video guys.